Your boy Ziggler Wiggle, you understand me? Back at you like I left, so I'm looking at you, check this out. No Lazine TV, you understand me? We represent New Orleans. This man travel all over the world. In the name of Jesus, we believe. No Lazine TV. What's poppin' with y'all? Got Bash Out, Bash Out, Bash Out here, man. I'm here with No Lazine TV. Why you this interview started off? Bye. It be like growing up, I'm like in the seven ward. It be how was it like for you? Shit, I was young, like I really just be with my older brothers and older cousins and shit on that type of kick, trying to stay at their pace, even though I was younger. That's really how it was, cause shit, I had cousins. A few cousins stayed in this house around the corner, and cousins down the street, shit like that. Everybody close. Okay. And so being, I'm like 17 now, do you feel like you actually, I'm like caught up? Only with your cousin's not bitch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck it right. All right. I know I still got shit to learn and shit and all that, but yeah, I'm, I'm up to peace. Okay. Um, so growing up, I'm like, who influenced you on the forest to I'm like, start making music? Um, to start making music, like as far as taking the serious. Mm-hmm. G, he, he, um, he really gave me a push, like, to take it all the way serious. And a lot of my partners, I had to be jokes with that shit. They had to tell me, like, you better start fucking with that shit for real. You know what I mean? That shit ain't poop. It's fun with something. Fuck with it. Okay. So, tell everybody, how did you actually come up? I mean, with your name? Um, I think I was, like, a, um, I was like, at the end of my ninth grade or some shit, you know, I started doing extra shit. Fuck. I started doing extra shit, me and my partner, you know, and it was, we would just call it bash. And you know, I just started saying bash out tip. I ain't hear too many people saying bash and bash and all that. For, I mean, my name, too, so I'm saying. Now that's a phrase, dude. And so how many people saying in there? Bash, bash out, bash. Yeah, but everybody a bash, you know, huh? So and that means you became a trainer. Yeah. Okay. So, tell the world, I'm like, what's the average day like for you? Shit, um, average day. My average day, fuck shit, I wake up and come outside, trying to see what else, see how I look. Make the next dollar. If I'm on some rap shit, I go to the studio, probably shoot a video, and on some shit like that. Okay. So, I'm gonna do you have any projects coming up? Yeah, I had a project. I got a project I've been working on for a while. It's called um, Bash Out Breezy. That's the name of the album. You know, I'm, I'm just getting somebody to mix my shit right now. It's about to be coming out real soon. I'm gonna do like two, three videos on it when I put it out. I'm looking forward to that. And I got another album I'ma have right after that. I'm already working on I'm already. Shit, I'm really done with it on the cool. It's called Homicidal Depression. Okay. Also, do you have any only features on it? Oh, and Bash Out Brizzy, I got features on it. I got um, I got Young Josh, Spit of Seven, Bang Roll Hump. And um and I'm gonna have a, a surprise feature on there. Oh, you can't see it yet, huh? Yeah, I don't wanna see it. And hey, so tell us, I'm like, what separates you, I'm like, from other artists? I feel like my vocabulary separate me and my different flows. Like, I wouldn't make like a usual kind of song that people be like, hey, shit, like, kind of genres of the songs. I always try some different shit. But I still go touch every part I could, like with the music and different flows, beats, styles, all that. So I'm trying to, I guess I'm just trying to say I'm versatile. Okay. Um, so you've been, I'm like rapping for, uh, for probably like a whole, for like a whole, I'm like, year now. Huh? Yeah. Um, so what's your favorite song? Um, well, tell everybody, I'm like, what's your favorite song 
I'm like, that you release? And I'm also, I'm going to tell him why. Oh, damn. I feel it's not my release. Probably, um, oh Lord, it was on my, my album, Bash Out Season. It probably ain't my favorite album because it got a lot of heartfelt truth in that, personally, for me. Okay. So, far as being in the music industry, tell us what do you enjoy about it, and tell us what do you actually, I mean, hate about it. Um, <laughs> shit, what I enjoy about it, I just, I like to make music first. That's why I really like, I really just like to rap. And the kind of shit we be going through, like, you know, you gotta travel with this shit, you gotta, you gotta lock in with other people, communicate like that, and it's, it's a business. I like the fact I could eventually make some real big bucks out of this shit. And I'm really having fun. Like, this is what I like to do. Oh. And what I might not like about <laughs> it, um, people get too comfortable, like, like people that might fuck with my music and shit. I'm saying, like, I'm still, I'm still me. I know I'm an artist. You fuck with my shit and all that, but some people get too comfortable with that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying, but you know, everybody might not get what you're saying. Yeah, I'm trying to see how I'm going to say it. <laughs> like, um, basically, you say like, like, you know, people, they feel like they know you because you're a music artist, but like, for the personal yeah. level, they don't know you, and they be, you know, treating the same way. Yeah. Especially, like, in public, a lot of times. And I really don't like to be surrounded by a lot of people and shit like that. But I got to I gotta adapt to it by me being an artist. Right, and you gotta learn how to move just, just like different. You know, you gotta, you gotta like stick and move. Right, like pitch it by, <laughs> yeah, something like that. I get what you're saying. All right, so far as living and growing up in New Orleans, do you feel like you have to move out of your city, or like once your music career, like, I might reach a certain milestone? Um, I wouldn't say I have to, but it, it was already in my plan. Even though I'ma still be in the city, like like I live here, me moving out the city ain't gonna really change. I'm just still my home, but I know it's gonna change. Like my music get to a certain level, it gotta change the way I move, especially when I'm out here in the city. Cause shit is New Orleans. If you, you live in New Orleans, you know what New Orleans is. Okay. So, you know, you been doing shows, traveling. Tell us, I'm like, what was your favorite show that you performed in, and also. I'm gonna tell everybody why. Um, the favorite, my favorite show I performed in was in Thibodeau. That show, that was the show I seen the most people that really know my shit. Like, they singing my shit for real, and they really fucking with it. But other shows, I be places where I'm not familiar with right now, so they gotta actually listen to it and determine if they fucking with it or not. Show in Thibodeau, it was a lot of people that already fuck with my shit. Oh, but that's a good thing. So you know, everybody been you know actually watching Bad Shout, and they said, but you always on the show with I'm like NBA Michi. Do you plan on I'm like dropping more songs with Michi, or even dropping one I'm like mixtape? That's stamped already. We got um we got two extra songs that's not out that we on a song together, and we gonna we gonna record it more. That's just any given moment we gonna make a song. And fucking right, you gonna be on, you gonna be on more projects. And I also heard um, that you have actually are like more songs with, I'm um, like no cap as well. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna drop a video for that. I'm sure you shot the video already. I uh, know I'm oh. gonna drop a video for it though. Okay. So far as like just if we just growing up in New Orleans and just watching the music scene, do you feel like other artists in New Orleans actually I'm um, like support each other? Yeah, you can see it with certain artists. You can see them supporting each other. But I ain't gonna say it's like, you ain't gonna really find no artists that support everybody. You ain't gonna, I don't think it's gonna ever be like that. But you can find this artist, like let's say this artist, and he got his little group of artists that he be fucking with. Everybody know somebody, it'll be on some shit like that. So since we be making music together, you got true people over here that you fuck with. I fuck with this shit. Yeah. The support that's 
that's easy. Like I had a song, sample repost, you know, everything gonna count for the support. All right, so you know, but you had one hell of a um, pandemic, <laughs> and you know, if you drop, you know. If you drop video after video during the pandemic, you had features with NBA Michi, Herm, I mean, no cap, damn it, the whole NBA. So, you know, if you had Quando Rondo in your videos, 3-3, three, three. so like, you know, tell us just like, you know, about I mean, how all that, all that came about. Oh, uh, that came about from us getting around each other, we were being introduced and shit, and we locked in after that, like, some intertwined type shit got in the studio, you know. And shit. Yeah, I got so I did my thing with him last year, dropping videos. I got you no know, cat was actually on my album, the first album I dropped. Um Bash out season. He was on a song called Scars. Got a video out to it, all that. Um me and Meacha, that was Meacha was the first video I dropped. And the song that we did the video to, that was the second song we had me. Yeah, we got a song way before that that we made. Hey, but see, everybody didn't even know that. Yeah, they didn't know that. <laughs> but my first feature with them was actually Baby Joe. That was my first feature. But it just took a little while for us to do the video and put it out and shit. And I got it. And her, that video came after um, I had a solo song. What it is, that's the video you talking about with Kwando and D3 and my shit. That came out of that, yeah. Okay. So, like, far as being in Louisiana right now and you've been traveling, like, do you feel like local DJs, blogs, and radio stations, do you feel like they could do it, do one, a like, better job of breaking artists? Uh, the DJs could for sure, but um, the bloggers, as far as them, and people that promote shit like that, I feel as though they're doing anything with it. But the DJs, yeah, they could definitely do better. Okay. And so I've been seeing, you know, being in the strip club and everything now. And so, like, when you made it to the club, it was like, do the DJs be playing your song? Yeah. Oh, I was just in the, I think that was Saturday. Oh. Um, and yeah, they be playing my song, like, I walk in, they might shout me out while somebody else is. Like, as soon as I walk in, and bitch, they see me, spy me, shout my name out. Eventually, yeah, they gonna play my shit. And so, how did that feel to actually be walking through the club? No, you didn't even know what to be there yet. At first, <laughs> shit, um, it probably excited me at first, but I done got used to this shit now. Damn, you got used to it already? Yeah. Oh, hey, that's a good thing. <laughs> it just feel natural. So, like, you know, hey, but I, this whole time, hey, but had there ever been one point in your music career, I'm like, we just wanted to give up? No. So you full throttle right now. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, hey, but tell us, I'm like, what's next for you? Do you plan on dropping merch? Um, you know, just I just tell everything was it was next for you. Y'all go get y'all merch. The link in my bio, lawyerbrothers.org. Y'all go get your merch from that link. You know, go fuck with that. Where you get your merch? We got more different merch coming, like different styles and shit, different kinds of clothes. But I still got the merch out right now. If you want to get you a hoodie, and we got the whole sweatpants and all that. Um, shirts. I think they got masks on there too. If you want any of that, a link in my body. So, you know, if you started something, and like during the pandemic, if it was on like record label called um, Lawyer Brothers Entertainment, I want you to tell the world, I mean, how did it actually get um, like started? Um, yeah, the one night. I was already making the songs on my phone and shit, and my partner be playing it. His name G. He was one of my close partners. And one night he in the car with it. It's him, Fee, Big G, Top, NBA Young Boy, and he played my shit. And Top was fucking with it. And at the um, at the Big G scene, Top was fucking with it. He seen a reason to come fuck with me with the music shit. It was all from there. Yeah. Okay, and also, um, but last but not least, tell everybody. I mean, what can they find you at on social media and just other, other on um, like music platforms? Um, music platforms, Bash Out Teddy, on YouTube, 
Apple Music, you know, all platforms, but everything on YouTube for sure. And social media is everything bash out seven tether. Oh, wait a minute. No Lazine make them whole screen. You understand me? You want a t-shirt? You want to have a wife beater with a hole in it? You want to pair a short pair with six holes in it with all your coochie hanging out on the side? Holla at your people, baby. Ziggler Wiggy, you understand me? Lightning cock on this B-L-O-C-K, you understand me? A beautiful day.